So as you guys probably know now, yesterday Season 4 was added in to Modern Warfare, and with this was many new updates to Warzone, Multiplayer, and even Spec Ops. But what you may not know is also in this update, there were several Easter eggs added into the game that are kind of there just for our enjoyment. Now, some of them, as we're going to talk about specifically in Warzone, may also affect the story of the game, and on top of that, how the game actually plays in the future, as some of them may affect the overall map of Warzone as well. What I am talking about here is, first of all, there is a way to get a minigun in Warzone. We're going to talk about that. On top of that, a new Easter egg revolves around bunker number 10, a new train that may be coming to the map that will actually move around the map, and of course we're going to be talking about the new bunker easter egg in the multiplayer map trench as well. And in this video I'm not only going to show you the easter eggs, but also explain how you can do and complete them for yourself. And at the end of the video we're also going to talk about the new ghost intel that is in Warzone, and I'm going to explain to you all of the locations of the ghost intel so you can get it for yourself. But first, I think we'll start from the very beginning with the bunker bunker easter eggs in warzone and specifically first start talking about how to get the minigun. So this first easter egg revolves around bunker number 11. Now how to open bunker number 11 is its own story in and of itself. I've already made a video on this one so if you want to check it out I will link that video down in the description. You can check that out. It's a full description of how to actually open this bad boy. But once you know how it's actually relatively easy. Now what's new and what the easter egg is with season 4 is that they have added a new thing inside this bunker and that new thing is what we talked about before none other than a minigun. So once you're inside the bunker, you're going to want to go to the area where you normally achieve the weapon blueprint. This time you're going to look over to the left and when you do, you're going to see two miniguns laying there on the ground. Now I was playing solo, so I could only grab one for myself, but if you're playing in quads, two of your teammates can actually have these things. They're pretty good, it's kind of hard to aim at long range, but they're definitely good and definitely something you're not going to run into too often within Warzone. Now as we know, later this season we are also getting a new Juggernaut mode, so in that mode you're definitely going to see some more miniguns. The next thing we have to look at is something that is going to be happening. In war zone and specifically what is going to be happening with nukes and bunker number 10. So as we know we found nukes in bunker number 11 that is no surprise but these other bunkers that were currently unaccessible had nothing behind them before season 4. After season 4 these bunkers are actually filled with things which tells us that there is going to be a way to open these up very very soon. Now we know this because there's a glitch where you can use the drone and glitch behind doors and that's exactly what you're seeing from X Legends gameplay here. He is the one that actually did this glitch and once you do this glitch you'll realize that behind bunker 11 there's a big bunker with an elevator in it. And on top of that, a giant nuclear missile silo with a huge ass nuke inside the silo, which assumably at one point or another is going to launch. Now, like I said, this bunker is currently inaccessible, but the fact that it's there means we will soon be able to get inside. How? That's another question for another day. The next thing is one that we actually talked a little bit about in this morning's video, and it revolves around the new thing that was added into the Warzone map. By the way, if you missed this morning's video, it was talking about what is coming next in Season 4, and if you want to check that out, it'll be linked on screen here at the end of the video and down in the description below. But as far as what I'm talking about here, with the beginning of Season 4, a couple of different train tunnels were added in on the Warzone map, most of them taking place around the hospital or by the Ferris wheel. And I did a little bit of research i drove around on the train track to figure out exactly where it was going and what i figured out is that there's a giant loop of train track with nothing blocking it no train cars around it basically going around the entire southwest of the entire war zone map and what this tells me is that they are planning something with this train track probably a train that's going to be going around it at some point probably through season four why or how that's going to work with the story at this point we don't know all we know is that there is going to be something big coming with this train track the only question we have is when the next one is a strange one it may even be the strangest one out of everything we talk about today before season four there was a little shack outside of the prison or the gulag that opened up and you could go inside it and on the desk inside of it you could find an rc car or what looks like an rc car and it was rumored that this was going to be coming as a field upgrade within modern warfare however fast forward to season four 
This shack is no longer open. It is closed and there is now a keypad on the outside similar to the keypads that you actually see on the bunkers. Now, red key cards don't work on this and I currently don't know any codes that work on this either. And it lends to the question, is the RC car still inside there? Or is there something else altogether? And is this going to somehow play in the bunker Easter egg? I don't know the answer to this, but I'm definitely curious. The next thing we have to look at is the new bunker. So the new bunker is not in Warzone. It's actually in a new gunfight map. So going from the biggest map to the smallest type of map. And this bunker is just on the new map trench. Now, there is a code that you have to use to get inside the trench. To find this code, you have to search around the map in various locations, which I'm going to show you. Now, as far as the code goes, this is what you have to know. The code goes number, triangle, down arrow, circle with an X through it, and then another number. Now, all of these are going to be individual numbers, but that is the order of the code every single game you're in. So you'll see going up to the first number here, we are going to see an eight. And as you can see, you can see the full code after that. So that means eight is the first number in the code. Going towards the second number, and by the way, these are always in the same locations, but sometimes the numbers are different. The second code, we can see a four replacing the triangle. So then the code goes eight, four. The next one that we're going to go up to here, you are going to see a number six, and that one is replacing the circle with a cross through it. So now we have eight, four, down arrow, six. The next one that we are going to here is within the chest. So within the chest, we see the number seven. So we have eight, four, seven, six. And then the last number we have here is underneath the bridge. And it is after all of the symbols, which is two. So eight, four, seven, six, two. With this code, you are going to go over to the bunker. You're going to walk up to the keypad and with a sniper or something that's semi-automatic makes it easier. You are going to shoot those numbers in that order. So once again, eight, four, seven, six, two. And once you put this in, it will say access granted and you can get in. Once again, these numbers are different every single game you get in. Now, after you get in here, you're going to notice a whole bunch of teddy bears sitting around a war room with a map, almost like they're playing Risk. And some of the teddy bears are dressed up like Captain Price. Others are dressed up like Kyle Garrick. And it's just a pretty cool Easter egg. However, it is not over. If you actually go and look at any of the red phones in the room, there is a code once again on those phones. So for example, for me here, it's 53125. Now, if you once again take that code and punch it into that original keypad in the same way, take your weapon, hit the buttons in that exact order, five in a row, it's going to once again say access granted. And this time when you go down to the bunker, you're actually going to hear a phone ringing. Now you can hold square to pick up the phone, but once you do, you're going to be introduced to a unwelcome surprise. Inside the doors here, there is a juggernaut teddy bear who is quite literally going to try to kill you. Now, every time I've done this, the teddy bear has been unable to kill me, but all in all, this is the full Easter egg. Honestly, one of the coolest Easter eggs I've ever seen on a multiplayer map with multiple steps. Love to see it. And I'm really hoping with future maps, they introduce more and more things like this. But for now, this is the trench Easter egg. Now, the final thing that we have with Warzone is the new Intel missions in Warzone. Essentially, these are a series of puzzles that you have to find specific Intel in specific locations on the map and basically it's going to tell you more and more about the story the more intel you get. Now in this specific video we're not going to dive into the story that these pieces of intel give you too much. We're going to dive into it a little bit but if you want to see me dive into that a little bit more all you got to do to show me is simply hit that like button and we'll dive into the story of these pieces of intel in a future video. But in today's video what we're going to be doing is looking at where you can find all of these pieces of intel and why they are in those locations. We're also going to be looking at what you get for doing all of these missions as well. So the fractured challenge as a whole says at the very top there, find the cause of the airport attack. And then after this, it says, find the location in the message ghost sent you. When you actually view the intel, it shows you a picture of what very clearly is broadcast or TV station. And if you go to this exact location on the map, go to this desk and press square at this area, you receive your first piece of intel. After this, we move to the second piece of intel, and what it says for this one is evacuations were underway. 
Once you view the intel, it reads a whole bunch of things. The one that you want to pay attention to is the very middle one. It says, Armistice issued a statement this morning stating that military escorts are available at gate B23 in the Verdansk airport. Basically, what this is saying is go to gate B23 in the Verdansk airport. This is very easy to find because it is the only gate that you can find in the Verdansk airport. Once you're there, you want to go to the reception desk, and once again, you will get the next piece of intel. The third one says communications went down before the attack, follow the trail. Once again, this one's pretty straightforward, and all it says is unable to contact ATC tower. So air traffic control tower. Very clearly here, you need to go to ATC. You go to the top of ATC once again find the next piece of intel once again once you're there they're very easy to find after this is where it gets a little bit more confusing with the fourth piece of intel this one says Verdansk ATC reported a transponder went offline when you view this piece of intel this one really doesn't say much but in the middle little ticket there it says offline Arklov AFB now, for this one, you have to think a little bit harder. First of all, you need to know where Arklov is. Arklov is in the area that military base is in, in the top right corner of the map. Now, what are we looking at here? We are looking at communications with an airplane. So if you know the map at all, in Arklov, there is an area where there is a crashed airplane that went down. This perfectly lines up with the story and explains why communications went down. So when you go to this airplane, go to the downed part of it, you can find some papers on the ground and find the next piece of intel. So from there, it says that a downed airliner tried to contact Arklov Air Force Base. And when you view the intel, it basically gives you a log of what actually happened on that downed airplane and then it tells you to search Arklov Air Force Base. This one doesn't really give you an exact clue so you just kind of have to look around unless you're watching this video. The building that you need to go to is the building right behind the hangar on the first floor. Go to the computer and that is where you will find the next piece of intel. And the next one says signals intelligence decrypted a message after the attack. Now, when you go and look at this one, it shows you a picture of ATC and the top of airport. The thing with this is this is actually not where you have to go. To know where you have to go, it's a little bit confusing. So first of all, you have to read what it said before, and what it said before is Signals Intelligence decrypted a message after the attack. So you actually have to go on to the Warzone website where it shows you the descriptions of all the locations in Warzone. And once you're on here, you have to go and look around. And when you get to comms tower B and storage huts, if you actually read the description, it says nearby are three metal buildings, a server room, which is where the armistice had to infiltrate in order to confirm Alcatala weapons in Operation Kuvalda. And basically, that is the only hint that tells you the last piece of intel is in the server room at military base, and that is where you have to go to find it. It's a stretch, to say the very least, to find this last piece of intel, but that is really the only piece of information that I could find that actually points towards it. And then once you have that last piece of intel, this is what it shows you in the menu. It specifically says, Zakaev's plan is in motion. We thank the lion for his support he may return to Yurzikstan. This screen may seem really insignificant, but this actually tells us a lot of information about Khalid al-Assad. I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm gonna make a separate video talking about this one, but I will say, I made a video a couple of months ago with a prediction, and this pretty much confirms it. But for that, you'll have to wait for that video. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. If you enjoyed this video, looking at the Easter eggs in season four, make sure you hit that like button. And as always, I'd love to hear what you have to say about these Easter eggs. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. Let's